What's going on YouTube? We're back with another Meta Gun build, and today we're talking about the Amex. The Amex is one of the most slept on guns in the game. It has one of the best time to kills and overall consistent time to kills from close all the way to long range. Now with the explosive damage, it does come with a couple handicaps. It has a massive amount of recoil and it only has a 45 round mag. Now, if you can learn to control the recoil, the 45 rounds isn't that big of a deal. In solos and duos, it's an absolute monster. Trios, it can still hold its own. But in squads, if you're not landing every single bullet, the 45 round mag can really start to hurt you. With the massive amount of recoil, one of the main things to try to prioritize when you're using this gun, hands down, is mounting. Mounting with this gun is an absolute godsend. Mounting is probably one of the most broken mechanics in Call of Duty currently. If you can find a good spot to mount up, this thing turns into an absolute laser beam. You have one of the quickest time to kills with no recoil on the Amex, once you mount up, it is absolutely insane. We've never really seen any big streamers take advantage of this gun, so this could be the sleeper pick that's off meta, and you could run around and absolutely destroy people because no one's gonna be expecting it. Also guys, I do just wanna take a second and apologize for the lack of uploads. I don't think I've uploaded in about three weeks. I was having some major technical issues on my computer. All of my recordings were lagging really bad. I lost three weeks worth of streams and content, but we got everything fixed and we will be posting at least three to four times a week going into the future again. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you're smashing that sub button and hitting that bell to turn on notifications for every time I post a video. And whether you're new to the channel or a returning viewer, make sure you guys smash that like button and leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought. I was gonna say, I remember there being an origin in there, so I didn't want to like drop right in. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, Corgan. Yeah, uh, they should have. I believe that account got deleted already. I appreciate it, though. Yo, Brian with the 2200 stars. Let's go, baby. I appreciate it, my dude. Hey, bro, you you were hunting me, sir. You realize that, right? Like, I didn't want the smoke. Gas is inbound. And yeah, I was on. I was on one twenty. But yeah, I was on track, man. It makes it so that...
Oop. And, um, Hunter Warlock for the most part, uh, back in the day when I played a lot of WoW. Destro Warlock BM Hunter. Raiding during like uh, mop was was when I played a lot of BM just because it was it was so damn good. I'm driving. I don't have any C4s. It's unfortunate. How'd I know? Should have known. Losing, but that's just an unrealistic amount of, of kills that consistently, in my opinion. Who knows though, maybe, maybe they were just gods. I'm driving. He just got a nasty head glitch on me right there. It's just a yeah, bad fight. That guy is an absolute laser with his so calm rounds. I'm out. You appreciate it, Michael. I love that you love this stream, bro. It's unfortunate. Enemy UAV overhead. We need radar. Deploy recon. This is Falcon 3-0. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. Dude, hit the rock. Whoa. Only ten. Ah! Fuck. Gas is closing in. Enemy UAV overhead. Gas is in. 
inbound. Marking new safe zone. Shit! Whew. All right, and now for the part that everybody's really here for, the gun build. On my Amex, I run the Monolithic Suppressor, the XRK Zodiac Barrel, Ranger Foregrip, 45 round mag, and the rubberized grip tape. This build is a bit different than any of my other gun builds. Generally, I run either the Merc foregrip or the Commando, and I never use rear grip tapes. However, with the Amex's recoil being straight vertical and the massive amount of recoil that it has, I felt like skipping a sight, going Ranger for the vertical recoil control, and the rubberized grip tape was the way to go. Now, one of the saving graces of this gun is the fact that the natural recoil pattern is straight vertical. Now, most of you don't know that every single gun in the game has a natural recoil pattern. This natural recoil pattern is being shown on the screen right now. Now, yes, it does have a massive amount of kick, but the fact that the only thing you need to do to correct it is to pull your joystick or your mouse straight down makes it very easy to manage. You're not pulling your aim down and to the left drastically or over to the right or anything in between It's literally just pulling straight down. I'll be honest at first I wasn't very much of a fan of the Amex But after trying out this build and fine-tuning it and getting used to the recoil This thing is an absolute monster and a slept-on gun the game I promise guys you will want to try this one out and as always everybody Thank you so much for being here hanging out and enjoying the content if you're new to the channel Make sure you smash that sub button and hit that bell to turn on notifications and whether you're a returning viewer or a brand new viewer hit that like button and leave a comment let me know if there's another gun you want to see me cover if there's an improvement i can make or just your overall thoughts on the video